Hi everyone, welcome to our PSHE lesson. This is for Key Stage 4, Pathway 2, but anybody can give this a go. So, it's been quite a year, hasn't it? We're halfway through the year now, quite a memorable year. And um, we've got a few questions for you. You've got questions in the description below which you can download and answer with your friends or your family. This lesson is about us trying to look back and see what good things we can make from the year. Was there anything that you didn't do before that you do now that you'd like to keep doing? Did you learn anything new? Did you discover anything new about yourself that you didn't know before? Right, so I'm not alone in this video. Guys, do you want to say hello? Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Beris is my me and Al joining this week, so here it goes. So we are going to give this a go ourselves. So Kate, would you like to start? Earl, can you think of three things that have happened during lockdown that wouldn't have happened otherwise? Well, three good things that I think have happened during the lockdown. Uh, one, uh, I think the air has become much cleaner because there is less traffic and there is less pollution in the air. So um, the air has become much cleaner. And two, uh, people are socialising much more um, uh, in terms of um, being helpful with each other, even though we can't uh, come in close uh, proximity. But um, uh, the, the, the community spirit has increased. And also, I think um, we've been spending more time with family and with friends and communicating uh, via Zoom or um skype or whatsapp and i think that has increased and which i think is a good thing and it's probably a good thing to continue even after the lockdown so Beres, during the lockdown the country showed their appreciation for frontline workers and carers did you go out and clap for carers as well yes yes i did um i thought it was really important um i've got a few relatives who are NHS um, key workers and I do worry for their safety and as a lot of us have done we want to stay home and look after our family but what we need to remember is these NHS workers they've got families of their own and they've not been able to stay home with their family because they've opted instead to go to work and make sure that our families are looked after and I just think that's just an incredible incredible trait so I wanted to make sure that every week I just showed them some love Right, Kate, this one's for you. Did you exercise more during lockdown? And if so, will you carry on? When lockdown began, I tried to do Joe Wicks's PA lessons to try and keep me fit. And then I realised that I wasn't actually that fit and found it really hard. So then I decided to walk or jog every day. I've got a Fitbit challenge every week with some of the staff from school and that keeps us all motivated. I'd really like to keep up my walk or my jog when lockdown ends, because it's really good for you to exercise every day. Beris, what was your favourite lockdown memory and who was there? That's a good question. Um, I think some of my favourite memories have been um, my video chats. Instead of calling people as much as I used to, I video call them now and it's been great. And what we've been able to do is we've been able to cook meals together. I've had friends teach me a few things. I've cooked things with other people. And it's been quite enjoyable because when we finish cooking, we, we sit down and we eat together and we can continue the discussion while we're eating together. That's definitely something um, that's really, really kept me smiling during this time. And um, it's something I'd like to continue to do. All right, Elle, this question's for you. What are you not going to miss about lockdown? One of the things I'm not going to miss about the lockdown is queuing in those long lines at the supermarkets and shops. I understand that uh, to be safe, um, we have to social distance during the lockdown. Um, but I'm hoping that those long queues at the supermarkets won't be happening or we won't have to do them anymore after the lockdown is finished. So Kate, during the lockdown, have you experimented with any new recipes? I have tried to improve on my cooking skills since I've been in lockdown. I have made a lasagna, a risotto, I've even tried with gnocchi, um, and I made a lotus cheesecake that was really good. 
Beris, what new habits have you formed during lockdown and will you be keeping them up when lockdown ends? I think one of the habits I'd definitely love to keep is um, these regular daily walks with my family. It's been great walking around the local area, walking around the local parks, just, just, just discussing things, having fun with my family, um, meeting more neighbours too, because they, their routines have changed and I'm able to see them when we're in the park, when we're walking down the road. And it's been so, so nice to meet new faces or catch up with faces I haven't seen for a while. So this is definitely something I'd like to continue to do. Earl, I've got another question for you. What has been your favourite way to connect to friends and family during lockdown? During the lockdown, I've been using a WhatsApp, a Skype and Zoom to connect with uh, friends and family. But my favourite one has been Zoom uh, so far. Um, we have been able to see and speak with um, friends, family and, and meet um, new people on Zoom as well. So that has really been good. Kate, during the lockdown, there are many things that we haven't been able to do um, that we did before the lockdown started. Uh, what do you miss the most? I've missed a lot of things during lockdown. I've missed seeing my friends, my family, getting my nails done. And I've also missed coming to school and seeing you lot. So all of the questions you've just heard and loads more, are in a document in the description so don't forget to download those it might be something you want to sit down and do with your family it might be something you want to do with your friends but i think it's a really nice thing to do you can choose your favorite questions you don't need to do them all but there are some interesting questions in there to kind of allow you to look back on the year so far and see what kind of things you what kind of good things you've got from the year so this lesson is in line with article 13 freedom of expression every child should be free to express their thoughts and their opinions and to have access to all kinds of information as long as it's within the law. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. See you next time.